So combine the price line and the indifference curve. Clearly, if consumer had enough money, they would like to climb onto a highest indifference curve as possible, or U2. However, none of the points on indifference U2, indifference curve U2, touch the price line, meaning that none of the points on U2 is affordable for the consumer. On the other hand, there are some points on this lower indifference curve U0 that's affordable. For example, this point here and this point here. However, consumers can do better than U0. Recall our assumption that consumers are rational. So they try to be as happy as possible given their limit amount of money to spend. Graphically, that means consumers want to climb onto the highest indifference curve possible, which still touches their budget line or price line, meaning that the point is affordable. And the best they can do is point D, where the indifference curve and the price line are tangent to each other and the point D correspond to the optimal consumption of T and S given a fixed amount of budget.